In this content, we will look at the parts of the Javelin missile, the reusable command launch unit CLU how it works, the awesomeness of the twin charge or precursor charge and the main charge, and most importantly, how to fire the missile and the mechanism through which a Javelin missile destroys reactive armor. All of that in 4K quality animation. So, let's get straight to the content. The Javelin FGM-148 is an anti-tank missile that locks onto the infrared image of a target. The soldier picks several targets and attack kinds by peering through a command launch unit. Breaking it down, the Javelin missile is divided into seven parts. The sensors which guides the missile to its target. A small precursor charge that can be used to overcome reactive armor or other impediments. The guidance system which is the brain of the missile along with the sensor. The main charge which is detonated after the precursor. The main flight motor using conventional rocket propellant. The multiple fins stabilizing the missile. And last part of the missile is the launch motor, engaged just to clear some space for the soldier. We will look more closely at the use of this motor as we proceed further in this content. The gunner carries a reusable command launch unit. In addition to the launch tube assembly, often known as a CLU also pronounced CLU, which is the two-part system's aiming component. The CLU includes three views that may be used to detect, target, and fire the missile. It can also be used as a portable thermal site when not attached to the missile. The launch tube assembly, which houses the missile and protects it from severe circumstances, is carried by both the gunner and the ammo bearer. The two also features built-in electronics and a locking hinge system, allowing for quick and easy attachment and removal of the missile from the command launch unit. It has a length of 1.1 meter or 43 inches with a barrel of 1.2 meter or 47 inches with a diameter of 142 mm or 5.6 inches. The warhead weigh around 19 pounds or 8.4 kilogram. Now, let us learn how to fire the javelin in a few simple steps. This switch can be changed from off to night mode by the soldier operating the launcher. Now to fire the infrared detectors will have to be cooled to a proper temperature by the CLU cooling unit, which will take 3 minutes or less. Once the night vision sight has been properly cooled, the soldier has full missile capability. The soldier will then be using the left hand grip, which have a variety of sight options that can be picked by switching between the broader 4 times sight and the more narrow 9 times sight between night and day imaging settings. Once a target has been identified, the user can flip a protective cover and press and hold the seeker trigger on the left hand grip. This activates the seeking locking sequence as well as the firing trigger. The user can choose a shooting mode from the right hand grip, having two options direct and top, which modify the trajectories based on the object. This is the trajectory of the javelin the soldier could assign at a push of a button which is direct and top attack mode. Now, let us find out how the javelin defeats reactive armor. Reactive armor is made to fight fire with fire. The Javelin missile has two explosive charges, a small precursor charge designed to destroy reactive armor or other barriers, and a considerably bigger primary charge designed to eliminate tanks. When the missile hits the reactive armor, it detonates. The precursor charge goes off, igniting the explosion inside the reactive armor. Smaller, less complex missiles would be deflected away from the tank stall. The missile's main charge, on the other hand, detonates a split second later. Nothing can stop the powerful javelin from bursting clean through the tank's hull now that the reactive armor's explosive charge has been depleted. Now, let us look at the type of warhead the javelin used to defeat reactive armor. The javelin uses a shaped charge which have a hollow indent through which a metal liner is fitted. Let's have a quick look at how it works in this animation. When the charge is detonated, a pressure wave builds behind the metal liner, deforming and speeding it into a lance-like jet of ultra-fast metallic particles that pierce armor of most weaponry that is available today. With all that powerful warhead, the javelin can pierce armor with a thickness of 600 to 800 mm rolled homogeneous armor, making most tanks vulnerable. It has a maximum firing range is 2,500 meters. A variant of the javelin with a range of 4,750 meters was recently created by the company. The system can be deployed and ready to fire in under 30 seconds, with a reload time of less than 20 seconds. The missile is mounted on the CLU, and the gunner engages the target by placing a cursor box over the image of the target using the CLU sight. 
A partial launch ejects the missile from the launch tube, resulting in a shoulder launch with minimal recoil. Soft launch allows for firing from inside buildings or from hidden locations. The greater propellant in the second stage is ignited once the missile is clear and the missile is driven towards the target. The United States is the Javelin's first and primary operator, along with 22 countries, despite its expensive cost of $250,000 per missile. But in recent times the Javelin has been exported in massive numbers to a particular country, proving it to be a game-changer on the modern battlefield. Do subscribe as we bring you the F-18 Super Hornet and the F-35 Lighting Jet, along with the many contents to come and have created from scratch.